Welcome back guys to the Kerbal Space Program. Are you ready for more boneheadedness? Oh, I'm sure you are. Right, <laughs> let's get straight on. We've got 122 science to spend and we're going to spend it. So a quick trip into R&D and now we're going to pick up aviation, which gives us a whole bunch of uh, aviation parts. We have jet engines, wings, tails, all kinds of stuff. Let's grab that. And we're also going to grab this little baby flight control which uh, it's not desperately important but it does give you this nice inline cockpit which we will be using so let's take that and the only one we haven't researched in this tier is, uh, is general construction there's nothing really desperate in here that you need but uh, we'll pick that up in due course right <laughs> let's go build spacecraft but we're not going to build a spacecraft, we're going to build an airplane. So we're going to go over to this building over here. Okay guys, so here we are in the space plane hangar. And this is where we build our space planes, but also just like regular airplanes. And uh, that's what we're going to do. And we're going to kick off with a Mark 1 cockpit. And we're going to kit this out with a whole bunch of science. So if we're going to bang a science junior on. Better if you're at a little angle. Yeah, there we go. Then let's um, zoom right in, and I'm going to put on a uh, barometer on there, and we'll put on a two hot. Uh, I'll put that over there, and we'll have a mystery goo that I'll put uh, there. Excellent. So we've got four science experiments that we can do. Right now, we're going to take um, a fuel tank which uh, I'm going to pop on the back. Whoop. Come on, get on there. Thank you. Right. Now, I'll, I'll mention when you're, uh, when you're doing your fuel tank, if you right-click on them, it'll show you that it carries liquid fuel and oxidizer. When you're using jet engines, we don't need oxidizer. So just left-click on it, get rid of the, uh, the oxidizer. We're just going to carry liquid fuel. Okay, cool. Next. We're going to put an engine on this thing so we can get around. And we're using the J33 basic jet engine, the Weasley. Now, this really should have a few ginger bits on it so that it could be the Ron Weasley. What do you think? Right, next. What else are we going to put on this? We are going to go to... I've put all the science on. Yeah, okay. Now, when you're using jet engines, because um, you're not using oxidizer, you need to put a ram scoop on these things uh, an air intake not really a ram scoop now this is in um, it's in aerodynamics I don't know why this thing is in aerodynamics you'd think it would be in like engines because it really kind of is an engine part but, but I guess it is what it is so we'll pop one of those on there now utility um, utility and we're going to put some wheels on this now I, I want to show you an important thing this is very, very important. Um, first, I'm going to put the, the, the front steering wheel on. This is going to allow you to control it with the WASD keys. And we want to put this like as far forward as we can, really. Yeah, that's still cool. The important thing is when you put the rear wheels on, okay? It's really important to remember to put symmetry mode on because if you don't put symmetry mode, and you just, oh, that's not, that's not quite there, I think. It's always better to be looking down at me. There, right? Because if you don't put symmetry mode on and you try and launch it, this is what happens. <laughs> God. Oh, it's pathetic, isn't it? The way it just like flops over. I love that. I had to show you that, sorry. Okay. Okay, so. So remember, when you're putting these on, always put your symmetry mode on. Let's spin that around and try and get this where I want it. Just think it's there. Yeah, that's dead square. That'll be nice and stable. That will. Excellent. Right. Um, couple more things. Couple more things. Now this one, this one's kind of optional. It kind of depends, like, if you want to do this or not. But what we're going to do, we're going to go to utility and we're going to use one of these. One of these mobility enhancers, otherwise known 
I say ladder. Right, and you can use the WASD, Q and E keys to flip this around in all directions. So I think um, a W is gonna flip that into the right alignment, yeah. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop one of these on like there and then another one just above it there and another one just above it there now because i've left the right the um the the i think it's radial symmetry no mirror this is mirror symmetry because i've left the symmetry on it's actually put this on both sides which you kind of actually don't need you only need it on one side this is so that the pilot if he falls off the airplane when you're EVAing, or if you do what I'm going to do, because I think it's cool, you'll need to climb back into the spacecraft. So um, that's how we're going to do it, using these ladders. And uh, it's kind of fun. So I, I, I suggest you do it, because I think it's really fun. Okay, um, one more thing, one more thing. Now this is really, really important, guys. Take a scientist with you for this. So where's Bob Kerman? Good old Bob. Um, Jebediah, you don't need to come with us. Bob, you need to come with us. Here we go. Right, so we, um, we're we going to zip off to the landing pad. But it's not the landing pad, it's going to be the runway. Okay, here we are. And this time, our space plane doesn't fall over. Right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the brakes on. Now, depending on exactly what you've done up until this point, you can do all of these experiments on the runway. Okay, and uh, am I going to do it? Am I going to do it? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it. So, observe the materials bay. Yeah, see, I haven't done it here. So that's, that's seven and a half science. Like before we even start, and then we're going to do the um, the pressure. That's 3.6 science. We're going to do the mystery goo. Now I'm only going to sh I'm going to go to one of the buildings and I'm going to show you. But um, I, this is a rinse and repeat thing. I'm not going to show you it like ten times because it's silly. Right. So well, uh, that's three science for that. Where's the too hot? There's the too hot thermometer. Log the temperature. That's another 2.4 science. And then we can do a uh, a crew report. Yep, we haven't done that. 1.5 science for that. Then we can do an EVA. Right, now, when we try an EVA, it'll say flying over. Oh, no, it, no, it's saying report from runway. Good. Sometimes it'll say um, it's from flying over the Kerbin Shores. And if it is, then you just need to move him around a little bit, and it should give you the, the right location. So, 2.4 science for an EVA. Keep that data. Excellent. Now, this is why we've brought a science uh, a guy. Because what we're going to do with each of these experiments, that's, come on, Bob, go over there. Right. We, um, oh, if I get enough, cl if I get close enough to this, uh, we right click on the, on the science junior, we collect the data from it remove the data and then we restore it now this is the thing that only a scientist can do he can restore the experiment so that he can reuse it pretty cool ha huh. right um, you come over here right we should be able to do exactly the same take the data from the pressure don't need to reset that collect this remove the data now this one we do have to restore there we go and then the two hot thermometer, we just need to take the data. There we go. So we've now got all of the data. We're also going to take the data from the cockpit. So take that data. So we've got six experiments. We're now going to store those, right? So everything is now reset. So we can rinse and repeat this as many times as we like. So we get back on board. Excellent stuff. Right, we'll, um, we'll take the brakes off. We'll... Uh, We'll start our engine, and immediately I'm going to cut the engine, okay? Because we want to be going very slowly. Now you can steer this very, very easily with the uh, just with the A and D keys. It's all you need, right? And uh, what are we doing? I'm going to go. Generally, you want to be keeping this below 10 meters per second, but on the runway, I'm actually going to go a little bit fast because I want to get up to this building, and it takes a little while. So let's just give it a little bit of a crank up. 
Right, so what we're going to do, now I'm only going to show you like this once. Um, I'm just going to go to one building and do it, but you can go to every building up here and do this. And it's going to get you so much science, it's crazy. All right, let's um, put the brakes on a bit. And then I'm going to go over. Now I'm going to start behind the space plane hangar, I think. And you want to be like fairly close to these buildings to be in the right zone. So I'm just going to run up behind here. And when I get close to it, I'm just going to slap on the brakes. That'll bring me to a nice gentle stop. Excellent. And then we can check that we're in the right place. We can go to the uh, materials bay, open that up. And yes, SPH, the space plane hangar. That's exactly what we want. Right, we'll, uh, we'll keep that data. See, seven and a half science for that. Then uh, the mystery goo observe the mystery goo. Now we kind of already did this a little bit when uh, when we launched a couple of flights over here but this is just a way way easier way to go around and get all of your stuff. So we'll uh, log the pressure data, that's another 3.6, we'll do the two hot thermometer, log that temperature, that's another 2.4, right uh, we'll do a crew report, another 1.5, then we EVA Bobby. We'll uh, we'll do his EVA report. So now space plane hangar. That's what you want. If it's safe Kerbin Shores, then you need to just move him a bit. So we'll take that. Cool. Right. I I guess um, now. Then you go around and you take all the data, you reset all your experiments. But I'm going to show you the additional thing that I'm going to do, which is um, I'm going to jump off here. Come on, get up, be a man about it. And I'm just going to wander over here a little bit and I'm going to plant a flag so that I know all the places that I've been to. So this is. Um, and I'm going to keep them. I'm, I'm just going to say this is um, Kerbal Space Plane Hangar SPH. Okay, SPH. That'll do. Okay. Right. Cool. Now we get the fun of can he get back into his plane? Well, here's the proof of the pudding. So what you need to do, because this this isn't necessarily straightforward. And it kind of depends on the exact placement of your ladders. So if you go over to your ladders, it's not giving you an option to grab onto them, right? So what you need to do is just take a step backwards, right? Getting kind of close, and then jump, and then press F. There we go, and he grabs onto it. See that? See, I'm not a complete momo. Right, and then. We're going to climb up the ladder to the top. There we go. And there we go. He's all set. He's ready to board. So what I'm going to do, I'm now going to uh, collect all this science. And uh, I'm going to go around to all these buildings and get the science. And I will see you in a little while. Okay, so I've just completed getting all of them. I've got the tracking station and the astronaut complex and... Uh, mission control, I've done everywhere. So let's see what kind of science this actually brings in. Let's recover the vessel. So there you go, 122 science just for doing that. Now is that the most exciting thing to do? Well, it's kind of fun actually. Although it gets a bit boring repeating all the, all the things over and over. But in terms of like the amount of science that you get from it for what you spend, oh, it's huge. Can't recommend it enough. But um, now I think it's time to do something a little bit more exciting. Oh, and by the way, um, you get all your funds back from your parts and even Bob. Oh, oh we, didn't get, we didn't get any XP or reputation gain. That's a shame. But tons and tons of science. Oh well, right, so what are we going to do next?